Well, if that intro doesn't get you in the holiday spirit, I don't know what will. Thanks, I mean to myself. Actually, Mike Walker did. Whatever, Brittany. Welcome to this week's episode of What's Up Weekly, where we bring you the latest news in 10 minutes or less. I'm Margo Andrews. And I'm Brittany Bradley. Going to college could help your chances in having a successful long-term marriage. A new study released this week says that people are much more likely to say, I do, at the altar if they attended college. The study suggests that those with higher educations are more committed and willing to enter a long-term relationship than those with less schooling. A report on attitudes toward marriage called the State of Our Unions said that people who went to college were more adaptable to a pro-marriage lifestyle. The study found that women with only a high school diploma opted out of looking for a lifelong companion and were rather focused on living the single life. So this is good news for us, right? I mean, yeah. higher educations, we have better chances of finding someone. Brittany Bradley, <laughs> double majors in telecom and MRS. I'm a pretty good candidate. Perfect. <laughs> the Bush tax cuts have been extended, but what will happen to the death tax? Without any action from Congress, the estate tax will rise from 0 to 55% on the first of the year. Also, the exempted amount will slip back to $1 million. President Obama and congressional Democrats do not consider the death tax a high priority, but according to a November Gallup poll, many Americans do. 56% of Americans think that keeping the estate tax from increasing significantly is very important, while only 17% believe that it's not too important. Though the tax may seem like a good way to raise money for the government, in 2009 it earned barely 1% of all federal revenue. So I know absolutely nothing about this, so I'm not even going to comment. I'm just going to move on and talk about stuff I actually do know about. Okay. Everyone's favorite set of Mean Girls, the Plastics, are returning to stir up even more drama in high school the second time around. Mean Girls 2 will air on ABC Family on January 23rd at 8 p.m. So excited. The movie has a new look with all different cast members, but has the same attitude and humor that drew audiences in the first time, making the original Mean Girls such a big hit. The story has a unique twist with the new girl at the school who befriends an outcast to create a social group called the Anti-Plastics. How original. The plot thickens as the two groups battle to obtain popularity. The movie will be available on DVD in February, immediately after the premiere. It doesn't matter how many times I watch this, I still think it's hilarious. I, I like it. Who's your favorite character? Kevin Napore. Who? Kevin Napore. The guy, you know, the rapper, he's like, oh, you sucker MCs got nothing on me. My brain's my ways. You can't touch Kevin G. I'm a mathlete. The nerd okay, is okay. Ten yeah. minutes or less. Ten minutes or less. Let's give that time. Some celebrities may be the dream date for girls, but they might not be as date perfect as you would think. Well, if you're a girl who doesn't mind taking the whale and driving your date to dinner, then you've got no worries. But here's an odd list of some celebrity males that would have to ride shotgun. Robert Pattinson, the Twilight heartthrob, confessed to Ellen DeGeneres that he doesn't have a license, but neither does Katy Perry's husband Russell Brand or Mad Men's Vincent Carthizer. Recent graduates of the driving school include Harry Potter himself, Daniel Radcliffe, who just earned his license at 21 years old this year. It doesn't matter to me, license or not, I'd still date Robert Pattinson. I know you would. Twilight fan for life. Why hard? <laughs> well, the search for a new football coach has come to an end. Tuesday afternoon, former Oklahoma University's offensive coordinator, Kevin Wilson, signed a seven-year contract to be IU's head football coach. Wilson has been named one of the nation's top assistant coaches over the last several years. He led successful programs at Miami of Ohio, Northwestern, and Oklahoma. IU Athletic Director Fred Glass says his leadership, vision, confidence, teaching, commitment, discipline, and toughness herald a terrific new era of Indiana football. The school agreed to pay Wilson $1.2 million per year over the next seven years. I'll tell you one thing, he better be good because we now have a seven-year contract with him. Yeah, but we graduate after one year, and then it's kind of going to slip off my radar, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. But we're IU alum, we still have to care. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've made it to dead week this semester, and that means we all should be hitting the books and preparing for finals. If studying is something you dread like most of us do, here's a quick look at a few tips that can help you survive. To start, scheduling is most important this time of year. Scheduling out blocks of time to work on certain tasks has tremendous benefits, including tracking your progress and making sure you complete your needed tasks each day. Second, find a comfy study spot, whether it be the library, a cafe, or your room. Wherever you decide to buckle down, make sure it's somewhere you can stay for quite a while. Third, leave the distractions at home. You'll be surprised how much quicker you can complete your tasks without Facebook, Twitter, or texting. And lastly, remember to take breaks. The human brain needs rest between large stretches of work in order to work at its highest potential. Breaks should be anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes long and should include a relaxing activity and maybe a sugar boost. I think I need to try some of those. I've been really lacking in the study department lately. I know, seriously. I've checked out the break already. You checked out, like, <laughs> at midterm. I know, issues. But that wraps up this week's edition of What's Up Weekly. Can you believe it? We made it through a whole show without any mentions of Facebook or Twitter. Oh, follow us at <laughs> What's Up Weekly IU. That was your cue, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> well, thanks for watching this week's episode, and good luck on your finals. See you next time. 
back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. All right. You're great zombie. And good times here at the Waterfront Village. Open for the next 11 days.